Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Doug and this is another fountain pen video. I'm outside today with the new Pen BBS 480. This is a new model and I purchased this Amber is a Cat version for my wife. I have the 308 model right here and the 308 Amber is a Cat is very similar to the 480 and we're going to look at the differences here. The differences are interesting. The nibs and feeds are identical but the sections are different. The 480 has a convex shape that ends in a lip whereas the 308 has a cylindrical taper down to a flare. They're both about the same length. They're both either cartridge converters or eye droppers. Looking at the caps, there are a couple of differences immediately noticeable. First is the clip. The 480 has the sword style clip that's also found on the 456. It stands out from the body through a small gap in the resin and there's uh, security inside cap band is a thin chrome band which has Pen BBS, Shanghai and 480 stamped on it. And the band doesn't go all the way to the end like it does here on the 308. The 480, the end of the section has a small chrome ring and then there's an imperceptible little step down which when you screw the cap down just fits into the body for about a millimeter whereas the 308 has this larger sort of gap between the cap and the body I think this makes the 480 a little bit more elegant in its overall shape. You can see how that blends together with the body very nicely. Now, the 308, let's uh, see how many turns it takes to get the cap off. There's one, almost two, one and three quarters in a bit. 480. one and one and a half it posts really nicely for 80 it becomes very nicely balanced when holding it in your hand even though it's a little bit longer than the 308 when capped this feels incredibly well balanced probably where the, the homage comes from. Look at that chatoyancy in sunlight here. It's just a gorgeous looking pen. Now the 308, it does not, it does cap and it caps fairly securely but you can feel it clicking back and forth there. It doesn't post as elegantly as the 480 and it tends to back weight it. Uh, I don't quite know why because the caps are about the same weight. Again that amber acrylic is just stunning. So they're both eyedroppers and the difference is that the 480 has the ring right there at the top of the threads. I put silicone grease on those threads. That ring that separates the section from the threads. There's the 308 no ring there to separate the section from the body but we have the threads first and then the ring 
the bottom of the section on the 308. I don't know that this is any causes any difference or any difficulties. I've silicone both of these and uh, have had no issues with either pen. And no ink comes out. So, I'm going to put up some weights and measures. And then we'll look at some size comparisons. It's time for a writing sample. I'm going to write with it posted. This is Pen VBS 80 Amber is a cat. This is a fine nib. I've inked it up with uh, Hiroshi Zuku. Con Pecky. Beautiful writer. Check the wetness. Very nice and wet. And very, very smooth. No line variation to speak of. It's very stiff. I didn't expect anything other than that. Quick writing. Very wet feed. It's keeping up nicely. Those who follow me um, will know that I've adapted Chris Rapp's evaluation process, uh, but I've narrowed it down to four categories, design and build, writing, feel, overall look, and value. Each category is out of four, so the total is out of 16. As far as uh, design and build go, this is quite simply one of the most beautiful pens I've ever seen. It's built really well. As far as I can tell, the fit and finish is terrific that that uh, amber acrylic is just out of this world and uh, I can't fault it uh, I just can't find anything to fault it so I'm gonna give it four for design and build as far as writing and feel what can I say but oh my god this is the finest writing experience I have ever had with a fountain pen, so it's got to be a four. As far as look goes, this is just a stunning pen, so it has to have a four.
terms of value, um, I think I paid thirty-one ninety-nine U.S. for this. I'll check that price. I think it was thirty-one ninety-nine. I'll put put the uh, invoice up here. But for thirty-five bucks, pen that writes like this, it's got to be a four. So overall, we're looking at sixteen out of sixteen. This is a perfect pen as far as I'm concerned. So that just leaves me to say, thank you so much for watching. See you again. That's all she wrote.